Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at a 30 Minutes Missions EAV, an extended armament vehicle. This is the mass-produced submachine version, and it's technically more of like an accessory. It's not one of the main kits in the line, but it's basically a kit on its own. So I thought we would go ahead and take a look at it in today's video. It's small, but packed with detail and pretty cool design. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, we'll take a quick look around the box for this one. As you can see, it's a smaller size box. Not only is it very thin, but it's also just the smaller size. It's not quite as wide, but it features a very nice rendering of our mecha right there on the front. And then in the background, there's some more units. So you can see them there in an action scene. Does look pretty cool. On the side of the box over here, you can see this is number 11 in the EV. That'd be the extended armament vehicle subsection of the 30 minutes missions line. On the bottom of the box, here's a look at the unit in action, showing off some of the articulation of this. Even though it's not a full 30 Minutes Missions kit, it is basically that, just kind of missing the head. But you can kind of expect all the rest of the normal stuff to apply for this one, as it's basically a full-on mech. It's just as like a support unit type thing. But there it is, combined with a few of the other kits in the line. And then here on the top of the box, there's a look at the front and back view of that when it's all built up. And then here's the size comparison next to the Alto. So you can see it is going to be pretty small. So the Alto itself is not a very big kit, and this is going to be even smaller than that. So it's not going to be very large here. So opening it up, I think we can expect probably not a whole lot of color and not a whole lot of parts here, of course. Looks like it's probably going to be mostly all molded in two colors, as I would expect. While the manual is small, it's still in the same style as the others where we just got some information over here about the unit in Japanese and in English, so you can read that if you want down here. Just some suggestions on how to customize some of the parts of this combining with different units here to make some different kind of customizations that you can do with that. We got our parts list here on the black and white pages on the inside, just amidst all of the construction. We do have a few of the pages of the construction of this there in color as well. For the runners, we've got PC7 for some polycap ball joints. And runners C1 and C2 are combined here. These are gonna be parts in black for the joints and hand parts. This is the 30 Minutes Missions Frame 2 runner. And then in gray, we've got SMG1 and SMG2 for the rest of our parts here for the kits. So as usual, some very nice detail on those, but that's gonna be about it. All right, guys, so here is the kit all built up, and it is tiny, man, but this is definitely the kind of kit that I can tell right off the bat is gonna be one that you're gonna wanna have multiples of, or I could definitely see a lot of people wanting to have multiples of these, because this is the kind of thing that you could army build very quickly and easily. It's a really nice size for army building as well. And now that I think about it, it really reminds me a lot of like the core Gundam. A lot of people were able to use the core Gundam for all sorts of different custom builds. That's basically what we have here. It's like the 30 minutes missions version of the core Gundam. And there are a couple of Somewhat hidden features about this I'll just share with you guys. First off, this part at the front opens up and you've basically got a little pilot seat there. So again, for a kit as small as this and as simple as this to have basically a functional cockpit built in, it's pretty cool. And then at the back here, if you slide this part back and fold this part up, there you've got a neck joint that then you could add a head to this and obviously it doesn't come with any head parts. But any of the other different 30 minutes missions parts or heads or Gundam heads or whatever you else you might want to put on that should fit on that just fine. Aside from the main kit, the only thing else you have left over in the box is just some leftover frame pieces from the Spinatio kit. This does also include things like the hand parts, except that it just doesn't have the parts for the covers for the back of the hands, unfortunately. And for a quick size comparison, the Esposito is a little bit taller than most general mechs in the series, but you should get the idea of just how small this is. It's basically going to come up to about the waist of your standard size 30 minutes missions kit. But all right, other than that, guys, not too much else to say about this kit. It's really awesome, but it's, you know, it's really tiny. You don't expect to get a whole lot out of this, just this kit on its own. I think it's a really awesome kit on its own. There is a lot that you could do with it, you know, without anything else, you could just paint this up and weather it and build it into some sort of diorama or getting multiples of them and building like a team of them into a diorama could be very cool. But of course there is so much more that you can do with just customizing these. And that's the great thing about the line in general. But this one definitely, again, I think the comparison to the core Gundam is rather quite fitting. I'll just reiterate that. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this? I think it's pretty awesome. If you guys are interested in checking out some of the 30 Minutes Missions kits and accessories and everything else, you can check them out at USA Gundam Store. The link, as always, is in the video description, just right down below the video, so check that out. And of course, thank you guys for checking out the video today. If you want to see more, you can like the video, subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. But until next time, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.